G'day guys, X2KO here. Today I'm going to benchmark the Smart Ultra 6, which is powered by the 1.5 GHz version of the Snapdragon 615. Now this is a 64-bit octa-core processor aimed at mid-range devices for 2015. I'm going to compare it with the Snapdragon 801 powered Z3 Compact, which is my current daily driver. And this has a 2.5 GHz 32-bit quad-core processor, uh, which was the processor of choice for many flagship devices of 2014. Now bear in mind this isn't going to be an apples to apples comparison as the Ultra 6 has a 1080p screen whereas the Z3 Compact has half as many pixels to push around with only a 720p screen. But uh, I'm having to use this as I don't have any other 1080p devices to compare it with at the moment so this is uh, going to have to do as our point of reference. Before we get into the benchmarks some people might be concerned about heat. So I'll put your mind at ease, unlike the Snapdragon 810, you don't need to worry about heat with this chip. Even during multiple runs of heavy benchmarking, this phone only ever felt mildly warm to the touch, and the hottest I saw the thermal sensors get was about 61 degrees, and temps quickly returned to normal as soon as the workload stopped. Also in this video, I'm only going to show the results of the benchmarks, as I'm sure you don't want to see all the boring processing bits, and also because I quickly realised it was kind of pointless. And many tests the Z3 simply finished way before the Ultra 6. In this example here, uh, we've started the Ultra 6 off with a head start. And now that the Ultra 6 is about to hit 50%, let's get the Z3 going. And at 70%, the Z3 has already caught up and passed it by. And this was fairly common throughout the testing. But this doesn't mean that the Ultra 6 is going to be useless, as it still managed a surprise result beating the Z3 in one 3D benchmark. So without further ado, let's get into the results. 